Sonny Cobrelli, we saw in the Volterra Catalunya stage one. I actually came from the very place where it happened, San Feliu de Grijols, this morning on the Costa Brava, sprinted for second against Michael Matthews in an uphill drag. Very strong performance. And he'd been sick, apparently, with bronchitis the week before. And then news came out through Deportes on Twitter and that he'd collapsed and required that he suffered a cardiac arrest. And luckily, very fortunately, news did come out afterwards that he was conscious and was taken to hospital. So apparently since then, he has had a defibrillator implanted, according to an article in Le Keep, which has then done the, done the rounds at Nosebleed, etc. The purpose of the defibrillator, which I've now mispronounced a second time, is to save Colbrelli's life if he were to go into cardiac arrest again apparently he was in hospital in catalonia he's gone back to italy the news though and benji and i are not doctors i don't know i don't know anything um about that but the news we want to sort of respond to which we do know a little bit more about his race programs in the past apparently according to italian law in introduced in 2017 athletes with a defibrillator are not allowed to participate in competitions so that rules italy out and apparently the UCI remains to be seen whether they allow him to participate. Didn't this happen with Ericsson Benji and that influenced his career or where he could or couldn't play? Yeah, I'm not a hardcore football follower, but I do know uh, the event of Ericsson um, happened. And as a consequence, he wasn't able to play in the, uh, in the Serie A because he had to uh, stop his contract, I think, at Internazionale. That's why it came into my mind that this could have an influence of for Colbrelli's future in pro cycling. And obviously, I hope we can see him in any other race from this point onwards, but it's going to be dependent on what the UCI decide. Nonetheless, when it comes to his race program, what races do we see that Colbrelli cannot ride on paper if he is not allowed to ride in a pro cycling in Italy? Well, Milano San Remo is one that comes up into my mind, and the likes of a Giro and so forth, Italian classics. There's a lot of Italian races out there, but is it the end of the world if he no. necessarily can't ride. I don't think so. On the assumption that he's able to ride, which as a uh, with Benji, I won't profess an opinion on whether he should or shouldn't, according to the guidelines of the European Society of Cardiology, they say patients with an implanted defibrillator cardioverter should avoid sports that pose a risk of collision and activities that could lead to trauma. So cycling is evidently one of those. But on the assumption for now, he can't compete in Italy, but he will be allowed to compete outside of Italy. Well, he hasn't done the Giro since 2016, which we've actually, I think I've criticized before because he could yeah. do well there. He's done the tour every year since then. He was going to do the tour this year as well. Um, so that's the biggest Italian race. Milano San Remo, it's one day, the biggest Italian one day race. Can't do that. Okay, it's a lottery anyway. Lombardia, he could do well at, but again, not a favorite. And then he used to do a lot of sort of Grand Piemonte, a lot of Tre Valle At the end of the year, the fall classics before Lombardia, he wouldn't be able to do them. Again, a shame. He's good at them. Not career-defining if he can do the other races because of where he's moved into, Benji. I think they kind of should take him to the tour now. He's that. He's been that good. I still want to see him at the Vuelta, knowing what his qualities are, knowing True. what type of finishes we usually have at La Vuelta. Although I seem to remember from the Vuelta presentation that there weren't too many uphill finishes, but don't take that as a fact because I can't remember it fully anymore, the uh, Vuelta presentation. But you mentioned a lot before that those Vuelta finishes usually do fit a hilly uphill sprint and therefore Corbelli could fit in that uh, regard, I'd argue. But you're right, like the Tour de France... On paper, he can do two Grand Tours in a row. And if you can't do the Italian Classics, then the Vuelta can certainly fit after the Tour de France, I'd say. And it's, there's so many races in France, Spain, Amstel Gold, which he suits. He won in Paris-Roubaix <laughs> last year. That remains to be seen. Hopefully, he's recovering well. It sounds from all reports that the implantation was a success, or implant rather. And yeah, I think first of all, we hope he gets better soon and recovers, even if he can't end up getting back on the bike in a professional capacity. Um, hopefully he recovers and can lead a somewhat normal life. Because, yeah, scary situation. 
But now at least it sounds like Cole Grelly is on the road to recovery.